So what are you mad about today, Noob Noob? Because OkCupid okay doesn't have trisexual tops as a gender normative construct on their website. Then why don't you explain to us what it is? It's, well, it's when a man loves another woman, loves two other younger men, <laughs> and an animatronic dinosaur gets involved. Ah, uh, so here we have it. OK Cupid is for every single person in color. Apparently in- not the dinosaurs. Inclusive ads. Not inclusive enough, apparently, for yeah, Noob Noob. No, where's the trisexuals? We're, we're, I guess they're trying and they're working on it because as, I guess, a frame of reference, not only are these, I don't know, all over the place, they're also in the New York subway. And we'll get to what happened when people saw them in the New York subway. But for now, we're just going to take a look at some of these and react to them. What about every single insomniac with uh, some wolf looking creature with (laughs) tattoos on her fingers? And then what about to just really wreck that incel wreck that poor Ted Bundy look like? I don't know what is going on there. Why is he biting his finger? I don't know because why is this a real ad can be difficult on yeah. a dating as a person who is experienced with dating apps. Mm-hmm. How do you rate? Okay. Cupid. Okay. Cupid is pretty bad because there's it's 22 gender identities. Not enough. And there, 20 sexual orientations. Again, not enough. There's a lot of uh, gay trappings on OK Cupid. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, well, me being a so young, you've been trapped? strapping, jacked white man, as 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 you can see. Bear. Um, I am a bear because I'm very hairy. <laughs> what there is is a lot of uh, transitioned women to men trying to put their old pictures of when they're females. Women to men? Yeah, they're trying to lure you in to like, a, hey, let's get coffee. And then you find another strapping young man sitting there getting you a cappuccino. <laughs> and you're like, am I gay now? I guess I'll go with it. And, uh, you know, it's, hey, I'll, t- I'll take a dick for a cappuccino. Well, they now have more than 60 identities. Yeah. A people. How is that? A- there are now more than 60 identities a people can choose from. <laughs> There's too many identities. That that word does not. That sentence does not make sense. What are examples? I don't know. Well, let's see here. We're gonna go. They're gonna celebrate every single soul, but I think they they missed out a little bit here. Oh, pansexuals love them. Every single pansexual. Pansexuals love lamps. Appar- <laughs> they love lamp. They love bubblegum too. Apparently, I thought they love lamp. Non-binary. Clearly, that person is not. I don't know what that is. Do they have tits? They have, yeah, they do because it's on their sh- they're on their arm. Okay, is that a corn on the cob? No, it's a cobra. I thought it was a corn on the cob there for a is second. Is that Elliot Page's cousin? I don't know, but there's some armpit hair there. Oh my God, there is. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. disgusting. Mm-hmm. See how it, every, every single, single introvert, introvert l- having a belly button fetish. <laughs> what? I don't know. No thanks. Okay, so is that this two men? It is. I don't know. Unclear. Can't you tell? Unclear. Every single feminist. All of them. Yep. So you can finger each other using the feminist sign. <laughs> Is that for finger blasting only? I guess so. There's one I think they leave out of this article. According to OK Cupid, every single cuddler. You are you a cuddler? I yeah, I love chocolate cuddles. <laughs> That's a lot of cuddling. That's a lot of hands and a lot of grabbing. That's a lot of people. Was there consent there? Every single bear. That's a gay term, I think, for fat gay people. <laughs> is, it, is it a part of your hike? Hairy fat gay people. What, what are we missing here? Uh, oh, you're just missing the fat? Is that what you're we saying? We are, you have yeah. Hair. No. Nasty Mandy needs to come and be my bear. Well, Nasty Mandy needs to come back on the show. He does. He hasn't been on in a long time. Every single... This one is confusing. There's a lot of why. Teeth. I don't know, the There's teeth. a lot of a lot. They are connected. There's a lot. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, every single vaxer. I uh, from so they from feminists to introverts to non-binary to pansexuals to vaxers. They've always been an exclusively inclusive dating app, and that will never try never change. So does that mean they're anti? They're against anti-vaxers? I don't know. That's racist. Vegetarian, oh my god, look at her dressed in green for avocados. Uh, I don't, where's the vegetables? I don't, that is true. There is not a lot of vegetables there. Yeah, those look like cakes. Yeah. 
Mm. Tree hugger. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is that man's dick so big? Is, is that, is that a, a top? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I gotta, there. I gotta get back on OK Cupid. See what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Every yeah. single submissive. So Scott is the number one member of this <laughs> this subgroup. Okay. He likes to get stepped on. Apparently. Wow. Look at those heels. Oh my god. Look at those non heels. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, yeah. Just in case gay people like to step on people. You're just every limiting. single every single romantic because you know giants are acceptable as mm-hmm. well. Absolutely. Are his pants on or off? Because making out and cuddling in skyscrapers is romantic, I guess. It's hot. Yeah. That's hot. Not all the ads are approved for the run. No. When you're truly inclusive, you're bound to offend someone. That sounds like a contradictory statement. They did include everyone, and they did offend. What did they, who did they offend? Oh, the tri... Yeah, no, they, they, gotta, they gotta get the trisexuals. I don't see any furries either. No, where's the furries? Where's the trisexuals? Cuddler. I did see one that was really... Oh, that's not every single person. That's a lot. I thought that was for the non-monogamists. Yeah. Where's the triple monogamy? Tri-monogamists. That seems like... A, well, it's more than, than three, so maybe it's it's more. That's that's interesting. I miss. There's one where there's like a, a weird one with a finger, but who, I don't what care. we need to do is make a noob noob dating profile and see how many non-binary lamps that want to fuck noob noob. Should we do that? We, we should. should. Well, I, I might be able to do that. Yeah, we, we could do that. We could do an on air. And that. then we can see Swipe what our lift. matches are. We can do a live match update. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, that, okay. That sounds like a challenge. If you'd like to hear more about this, say in the comments below, please. But apparently not everyone was down with OK Cupid. Not everyone's down to clown. Not everyone. Where's it's the clowns? Okay to, not, there, yeah, there are no clowns. Where's the clown fetish? So not OK Cupid. Woman rips down suggestive ads on New York subway launches anti-propaganda rant in viral video. She's not happy with the tongue action in those it's, posts. Uh, all this is gross. All this is gross. I don't know. For kids to be looking that, at this, is that okay? Unbelievably based? Hmm. Confusion. How is that based? That's like to, the reverse based. What do you mean? Based to rip all that stuff down? Oh, no. That's based. Yeah. 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 And then apparently some of the, uh, the passengers... Uh, Agree. <laughs> they were like, no, it's not wrong. It's propaganda. It affects the next generation. I don't know why. No one sees this. It, this is disgusting. And then another, what is this word? A male strafanger. I'm pretty sure it's stranger. When do these people forget how to write? <laughs> what is going on here? Strafanger. Strafanger. Call the ad, unless I'm really dumb and don't know what a straf hanger is. I don't is. know what that is either. Okay. Calling the ads desensit- desensitization. And another passenger said normalizing abnormal behaviors. She resumed tearing down the advertisements, most of which were popular on the digital platform. Popular. Yep. Many of the ads were sexually explicit or suggesting as one ad was promoting a picture with two mouths and a single tongue connecting them. Another ad targets every single pansexual. Yet another ad refers to every single non-monogamist. Oh, my God. Oh, that's the people making out on the bench. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. There are other ads from OkCupid with heavily politicized statements such as, it's okay to choose Mr. Right based on how far left he leans. (laughs) It's okay to only date someone who's pro-choice. So does that imply the exact opposite, that they're not dating people who are pro-choice? Yeah, don't choose. It's okay to have strong convictions and abandon them for the night. What? That seems like a bad idea. That's weird. That would be like be be somebody saying, "I don't drink because I'm an addict, but tonight I'll be an, I'll just drink because it's cool." Right? Is that what that's saying? Yeah. I am confusion. The uh, in the viral video, the ad defacing woman argues that the message is a form of social engineering. They're they're trying to divide and conquer us. The government is against us, and you guys didn't see it. Oh, dear Lord. Whoa. Or don't see it. 
see, this article is clearly behind on the times because uh, OK, OK Cupid has promoted itself as offering 22 gender options and 12 sexual orientations for user profiles. We just told you it's up to 60. So we're ready to make this happen. We're ready to not get based. <laughs> we're ready to watch and learn. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. And I don't know. Yep. Eyes uh, is confusion. Would you be excited to see this on your subway? I mean, I'm excited to make an OK Cupid profile right now. Okay. Well, we'll try to make that happen for you folks. Stay tuned for the next one where potentially we get some matches. Are you going to expose people online who might match with you? I am. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, no, we're going to we're going to dead name them on air. Wow. We're going to try to get them to meet. Whoa, 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 whoa. In the whoa, studio. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In the studio yeah. itself. Wow. Anyway, yep. uh, be sure to tune into our full length live podcast. You can catch it on YouTube, 7 30 p.m., Fridays, Eastern Standard Time. You can also download the free audio podcast anywhere anyone provides audio podcasts like iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those fun places. And be sure to share this video and subscribe because if you don't like and subscribe, Noob Noob will potentially do this. I will join every dating app known to man. Make sure I match with you and then sexually assault you and transition <laughs> you. Yeah. You don't like that? You're going to get sexually assaulted by Noobina. That sounds like a threat. You should or not noob- be threatening on nope, YouTube. No, don't threat. Okay. No, uh, no. You will take them I, out on a nice dinner. Yeah, I will. I will s- stay flowers, surf and turf. Surf and turf dinner. Uh, flowers. Not yes. too expensive, no though. Threats. I'm on a budget. I'm on a budget. I How will about, uh, take you to the Happy Meal for McDonald's. Sizzler. We'll get a toy. Is Sizzler too high? Texas Roadhouse. Te- Texas Roadhouse is expensive. We're going to crush some peanuts. With, with, <laughs> with Sizzlers. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go to Jamba Juice and get a smoothie. <laughs> Talk about our feelings. That sounds much less threatening. Exactly. No threats on this channel. You know. Anyway, uh, this is Noob Noob and Z. That's Noob Noob. This is Z, and we're from Our Reviews Will Kill You. To catch this review and more, be there or be square, because we're on to the next one, if I can find the outro, which I cannot. Uh.